Defend your city in Infinity Kingdom? That's a tough job. Every player, even the unexperienced ones, know that garrisoning your city is tricky. That's because stronger players can walk through you without problems, and honestly that's a small flaw in the game that I'm sure the developers will start addressing in the next future. But I'm here today to give you all the tips and tricks I know on how to keep growing in Infinite Kingdom while avoiding as much as possible to lose troops and resources because of stronger players' attacks. Special thanks to Infinity Kingdom for sponsoring this video. If you wish to download the game and try it out, click the first link in the description down below. Let's get straight into it. Before, remember that you can leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy my content, and you can download the game for free using the link in the description of the video. Let's go! Hello everyone and welcome to Week Gaming, to another Infinity Kingdom video. As every city builder there is, in Infinity Kingdom resources are very important, especially if you're a small player and you are trying to step up your game by leveling up buildings. And not always you have the firepower needed to defend the resources you are trying to stack up. You, like me, are one of the fishes in the ocean of big sharks that can always come and steal your resources. And as you can see from some of the latest reports that I'm now showing you on screen, I got attacked as well by two players of the blue faction, but they did not destroy my city. They just plundered a few resources, very few actually, uh, considering the amount of resources I got in my city. Just to clarify before we get deeper into this topic, gold cannot be plundered, so they cannot steal it from you. Unfortunately, there is no way that you can prevent big players with big marches from farming you from time to time. So what's the solution? Just bend on your knees and get over it? Actually, not. Unless there is a kill event going on, which happens normally every two weeks, players will not attack you just with the sole purpose of destroying your troops. They just want the resources, because attacking you costs AP or action points. In fact, if I go on a random city, like this guy Andrew right here, and I click on attack, you can see that if I select one of my marches and I attack him, I will uh, invest action points, which I will not do now. But the point is, big players will never waste such a huge amount of action points without having anything in return. They will simply move to the next city and spend the action points to plunder resources somewhere else. So the trick is not to leave many resources unprotected. So if you go to the right side of your city and click on this building warehouse and then you click on storage right here, you can see that it tells you, the game tells you which and how many of your resources are protected. Those will be identified with a blue shield symbol. And as you can see, I have roughly 2 million food, 2.2 million wood, uh, 3.2 million stone and 37,000 iron that are protected. And nothing is unprotected because the, the red shield with the X on it has a zero besides. But how's that? I have 12 million food, which is way beyond the range of resources that are protected from the warehouse. Well, the fact is that that food comes from resource tokens, like this token right here, 2000 wood. And if you read carefully the description of this token, you can see that it says, cannot be plundered. So you do not need to be afraid of using resources in your bag if you need them, because those resources cannot be stolen from you anyway. The resources that can be stolen are those right here, the ones you produce every second in your city. Those can be stolen, and also the resources that you gather on the map. For example, if I'm gathering this iron deposit, which an alliance mate of mine, Cyborg, is doing at the moment, when he goes back to his city, those resources can be stolen in that case. Or again, the resources that you acquire by completing quests. For example, if you gather from a level 8 stone deposit, 
you will obtain extra 100,000 stone and that stone can be stolen from you. Basically everything that is not protected by your warehouse and is not coming directly from resource tokens that you activated can be stolen. Here my tips come in support. If you are looking forward to upgrade something big like your castle from level 33 to 34 in my case that requires more than 30 million resources or maybe you are looking forward to research something big which, yeah, like this, requires more than 5 million resources, you should be stacking up resources by producing them or gathering them on the map with your troops. In that case, you should definitely use a protection barrier to protect your city. If you click on the little plus next to your avatar on the top left, you can go on protection, clicking on use, and use one of the protection barrier that you own, that you can get from different events in the game or just by purchasing them for gems. So you should really protect your city until you start that specific building or research queue. After that, you make sure to check your warehouse and see if there is still something unprotected. In that case, you can maybe speed up some troops and start training some more or use the resources to queue up some uh, forge materials in your forge. So, to recap, one, garrison your city, otherwise more losses will occur. If you're already a more experienced player and you have a good march to place on your wall, then you can do it. For garrisoning, as most players, like me, use a water team, I suggest you go with an earth march, because earth is stronger against water. As you can see, I'm working towards completing my earth march in order to be able to garrison my wall. 2. Check your warehouse constantly to see if you have resources that are unprotected, depending on which way you got them, of course. 3. Always shield up with a protection barrier if you need to stack up resources for some buildings or researches, and especially if there is the kill event going on in your kingdom, because in that case, people will attack you multiple times regardless if you have resources that can be stolen or not, because their goal at that point will be just to farm points on you by killing your troops. If you cannot shield up, this leads to point number four. Make sure to utilize the resources you got in the best possible way. If you cannot shield up and you still have a bit of unprotected resources and you cannot do any other action like, I don't know, upgrade some buildings, which I'm doing right now, or um, training some troops or starting a research in your academy, then at that point you should consider to mint some gold in the forge, because as I said, gold cannot be plundered. Just go over to the forge and click on transmute and then choose the resource that you can transmute because maybe you have an excess of that, that I have an excess of food right now and make some gold with it. In this way, the enemy will not be able to steal anything and will refrain from wasting action points on your city to steal basically uh, nothing. As you can see, I gave you few important tips that will improve your game experience and will allow you to grow almost without being disturbed. You only need to keep in mind few focal points and few strategies in order not to be catched in the net of bigger players. This is a strategy game, folks, just play smart. I hope this video was helpful, if yes, remember that I'm gonna publish more and more tips and tricks for this game. If you enjoy my content, remember that you can support the channel for free just by hitting the like button and subscribing. It's 100% free and you can always change your mind later. In the description of the video I remember that there is a link that you can use to download the game. As always, I will see you on the next one. Ciao!